going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and today we're joined by Captain Mike Janown from Florida Sport Fishing. He does a lot of fishing courses, in-person fishing courses. What we're going to talk about today are the fundamentals. And Mike, you were saying to me before we started recording that there are a lot of people that you would think might know the fundamentals, and maybe they don't. Uh, what can you help us with today to make sure that that anybody listening to this podcast can go out this weekend and uh and, and experience better fishing because of what you're going to sure. tell them sure yeah tom you know again there's so many great anglers out there and i'm fortunate to have you know the these different groups that fish with me on our fishing courses but you know some of the things that stand out as you mentioned the fundamentals like fighting fish you know i see so many guys who just don't know how to properly fight a fish and if that may be a large snapper or grouper versus potentially a dolphin you know no one's ever instructed them nor is that information out there readily available it's challenging you know, to really educate somebody and say, hey, this is how you fight a big dolphin. You know, you can't force that big 40, 50 pound bull to the boat on a light 20 pound spinner. You're going to bust them off. You need to use the boat to close that gap slowly. You know, that's just one of many examples or, or fighting a, a grouper and being able to slam on the brakes before this thing takes you, you know, deep into its hole. But I think having an intimate relationship, what I try and teach people, one of the fundamentals is just having that intimate relationship with your tackle. What does that mean? What's the breaking point? How much pressure can I put on a fish before something fails? Do you know that? You know, Do you know in your own tackle what that point is? So I tell people oftentimes, especially for example, if they're slow pitch jigging, because we use this incredibly lightweight slow pitch tackle, but yet it's unbelievably strong between the braid and the leader and the rod. Everything is so strong. Our connections are bulletproof, but the tackle itself is incredibly light. So I tell people, look, if, when you get hung up in the bottom, because anybody that's ever slow pitch jigged at some point is getting hung up in the bottom. It's going to happen. You're fishing struck. If you never get hung up in the bottom, you're not fishing the right area. You got to fish structure, right? Wrecks, reefs, rubble, whatever it may be. And I tell people, look, if you get hung up in the bottom, do the very best that you can to get it out. Because we, of course, don't want to leave tackle sitting on the bottom of the ocean. But when you realize that there is no you know, happy ending to this, point the rod right at the water. Point the rod right at the line. Lock up that drag. Put your thumb on the spool and just hold the rod as the boat is drifting away. And that pressure is building and building and building. And, and when I put this tackle in her hand, they can't believe how strong that is until finally, pop, something gives. And at that stage, when something gives, what was it that gave way? What was your weakest link? Was it that Alberto knot? Was it the knot to the jig itself? You know, having that sort of relationship with each and every one of your outfits it's just going to help you be a more successful angler. It's going to allow you to put more heat on a fish when you need to and less heat when you need to, because it goes both ways, you know, and understanding of those things, how not to reel against the drag when a fish is running in the opposite direction and you're cranking, cranking, you know, why not to do that? So once again, I mean, I think that's one of the biggest, we'll say, areas of improvement for most fishermen out there, especially guys, weekend warriors that don't get to go out there so often is have that intimate relationship with your tackle, learn it. Okay. Understand it. And that's just at the end of the day, going to make you a more successful angler and you're going to land more fish. That's the bottom line. I like it. I like it. That's very good advice. And uh, some of that that you can do off the water. In fact, if you're, if you're not able to, uh, if you're not able to fish as much as Mike or myself or, or anybody that's on the water all the time, but you do have the tackle, you can, you know, hook it up to a scale or you can hook it up to a chain link fence or you can hook it up somewhere right. and pull until something breaks. And, uh, and you get a really good idea of, of what the breaking strength is and you do get that that knowledge of your tackle and you can do that through all of your different setups whether it's fly rod or spinning rod or conventional rod jigging rod anything like that strongly encouraged 
Strongly no. encouraged. So good, good advice, Mike. I appreciate it. Tell them how they can learn more about you and, and see, uh, maybe come to one of your courses. In fact, of course. Sure. Check us out guys. Florida sport fishing TV is airing on the world fishing network and sportsman channel. Our new instructional series, captain Mike's rigging station is airing on Bally's. Uh, we have an awesome streaming platform, Florida sport fishing TV plus web address is fsftv.com over 400 instructional videos um, and there'll also be a link there to learn more about our all-inclusive fishing courses all right that's how to tuesday this week stay tuned for another great episode next week see you